Hi. Good morning, guys. Welcome to my channel. My name is Jade, and you are currently watching a day in the life of a 17 year old entrepreneur. I'm so excited to be back with these videos because I think it's so chill and it's always new. I think the best thing about entrepreneurship is every day you're doing something new, you're creating a new project, you're calling up a new client, and it's always fast paced. So let's see how much I can get done. Um, I'm going to give you guys an agenda. Today I'm headed to a co-working site to use their desk because it's free and I'll, I'll break down more about what's happening at the co-working space. But yeah, there's a good desk and I like to work outside my home because I don't have an office so I just like to use someone else's. The next thing I'm doing is working on a lot of funnel settings. So basically my business is based on like building other people's brands. So basically I need to be a better consultant by bettering my strategy. So I'm taking more time to build, develop my product line and develop a sales funnel. And then I have another presentation for one of my mentorship programs. And at 4 p.m. I'm gonna wrap up, hopefully finish as much as I can to hang out with some friends. So where can I go? and drive to the co-working site. I've actually never been there. I just found it on Google. I was looking up in my city, Portland, Oregon. What are good places to work at? And there's a new, there's a new place opening up. I don't even know where I'm going. It's a failure, a sideways comment from a colleague, a meeting that is full of disconnection and frustration. Keep left to stay on Washington. <laughs> All right guys, so we're here at the co-working site. I'm gonna put you guys right there. Basically, I brought my lunch because I'm trying my best to save money. <laughs> I honestly have been like spending money on rent and then burning money on like a bunch of things like hiring more people. So at this point, there's a lot of things that Jade can cut down to, you know, put back into the business, which I'm totally fine for. So I'm gonna show you guys my lunch, things you can do on a budget, if especially if you have like, so much capital to uh, make something out of. I know a lot of us watching this video might be people who just like want to start a business but they don't know how to so let me tell you it takes a lot of money to make money. Um, if you're scared of investing in yourself do not start a business. If you're scared about losing money don't start a business. I think you can be smart and calculative but there's a huge, you know, investment uh, portion of it. So, yeah, I'm gonna head inside and see if I can get in and get a desk. Oh my God! What? 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 Trusted hiring right now. So I'm like, oh, I got oh no, so same. Then, yeah, no. <laughs> I was hiring for, uh, I have a company that helps like other uh, brands develop their social media. Oh, cool. So I've hired my first like three people and it's like, it's so crazy because from a solo entrepreneur to like oh, yeah. outsourcing, it's like, oh, yeah. okay. So. All right guys, so I'm here. We got some nuts. It's currently 10.30 a.m. So I'm gonna do a little bit of emails and I actually, and right now, I want to eat the nuts because I'm starving. I got an email to. S <gasps> oh, I should. Oh, never mind. I thought I got an important email. Fuck. I actually got notified a few days ago that I was speaking at a conference. Um, so I need to prepare a little photo and bio for the company so they can be so I can be on the speaker lineup. So I'm gonna do that and then eat some nuts. I don't have my AirPods today, so I just have this. This is what I have. I usually have my AirPods, but I forgot to bring them with me, so this is what we're using. I don't, these aren't even, you can't even get this from Apple anymore. Like, oh, oh, this is so ugly. I'm joking, I'm actually not complaining. This is sick, look at me. Currently choosing some pictures for an interview I have. Um, do you ever like look at yourself or like I look ugly in every single photo? Because I don't like any of them for this interview. Hell yeah. Okay guys, so it's time for lunch and I brought home a salad. <laughs> so the salad has, can't even open it. A salmon salad with avocado, lemon, tomatoes, and corn. Um, if you have any questions. Well, yeah, that's actually so smart. Um, I I was I like that idea a lot actually. What did you think? What I don't want to do is like do like seven different strategies and never really tackle down one. So if you pick one and you really lose, 
Okay guys, so it's currently like noon and I had a meeting with one of my interns for a personal brand journey app. Um, my app is basically an educational platform to help grow your brand. Uh, so we are working on a few group chats, we're working on expanding our communities. So basically my method is in order to help you guys and help people who want to start a business, the best way is to have like groups. So we're creating like group chats and community and a lot of events. So I had a meeting with her. Um, but I just feel really, really jittery right now. And I don't know what to do because I had a cup of coffee as you saw earlier. And now my heart's beating really, really fast. So I know it's like normal to be really energetic, but like I feel like I'm gonna pass out. <laughs> um, so I don't know what to do. So I'm like trying to get rid of my energy, but I don't, I'm in the office, so I can't really be too loud. So I'm gonna talk it out right now. But yeah, honestly, um, I've been having you know a great morning so far. If you're so far enjoying this vlog, make sure you give this video a like and hit the subscribe button for more entrepreneurial vlogs. I'm just curious if you like these videos since I typically never show most of my behind the scenes um, just because I thought it was boring, but I I hope you're entertained. That's all I have to say. So um, I think for the rest of the day, I need to get better at focusing. I've been taking like just so many like text messages and phone calls where I never really got my work done. All I done this day is just an interview and like meetings. So I need to like actually get shit done and I'm really hard on myself. So I should just probably stop being so mean. <laughs> um, I'm like also like having a heart attack. Um, ah! I don't know what to do. Like, I don't know if I, my, I don't know if I'm like sensitive to caffeine, but I literally can't breathe. And I also have asthma. So like, <sighs> hey guys. So uh, I'm listening to uh, one of my sales calls review how I'm doing in sales. It's really hard because I'm literally listening to a video clip of me getting absolutely just yelled at by a client. But I have to listen to it because it's the only way I'll learn to be a better saleswoman. I'm like, basically in October or November, I had a client or a potential client and the meeting didn't go so well, but I recorded it because I knew that I record all my meetings so I can look back on it and see what I can do better. The thing is this meeting scarred me so much that I couldn't listen to it for three months and I'm listening to it now. It just hurts. This physically hurts listening to it. I'll like put a clip with you guys so you can hear. The solution for your problem is quite simple. You need a con you need content that tells your story, and you need people to share it for you. I think all marketing is best when it's word of mouth. So, here's what I can do, Michelle. I can help you, and I can I can work with a thousand. Um, that would probably get you the content and um, get you once a month uh, content for Instagram. Um, however, it sounds like to me you would need help also with uh, maybe distribution. <laughs> so I'm here with... Hey, I'm Kylan. So you're the co-founder of Hey Collab. Yep. And what are you guys up to? What's the company? Tell us about it. Yeah, so it's a co-working space. Um, basically, we open the doors to a bunch of creatives and it's pretty fun because we have a, a ton of different people that are doing amazing things and the whole goal is to kind of create a community around around creatives. So I yeah. love it. Yeah, Let's awesome. get it. I'll link it down below if you guys are in the Portland, Vancouver area. You guys can check it out. Okay guys, so it's currently 5.30 p.m. Finished up from work and now I'm at Trader Joe's to get my dinner. And I love Trader Joe's, it's so affordable and so yummy. And I have an idea what I want for dinner, which is like this tortilla wrap with vegan meat and like hummus. We'll see what I make, but I think I need a tortilla wrap. Honestly, I feel like really, really anxious right now for some reason. Like I'm not hungry, but I haven't ate anything other than that salad you saw and some nuts. So let's see what I can get. I always like stealing their samples. <gasps> let's go get some samples. <gasps> oh, whoa, I'm so ADD. They have brown rice tortillas. Ew, okay, is it just me, but I hate it. I hate that. I don't like that texture. I think I have tryptophobia where I get scared of that texture. Oh my god. So I have a friend who works at Trader Joe's from high school and I found her and I think I want to scare her, but I don't know how. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna go behind her and like I'm gonna scare her. How did I lose her? She was literally just there. <laughs> I, I was hi. I was trying to scare you, but I just scared myself. 
I saw you at the corner of my eye and I swear I was like this bitch is better not ignore me. <laughs> I was gonna like act like an angry customer just yell at you so you could have a mental breakdown. <laughs> but then you would recognize me. <laughs> You'd be like, wait, it's Jade. Ew, I like how you're vlogging. <laughs> Ew? It's chickenless mandarin chicken and it tastes like real chicken. It does? You like Whoa. You're just Stop. making recommendations for my YouTube. <laughs> the Trader are Joe's you, queen. Are you don't know what I eat. <laughs> yeah, kind of. No, are you actually? I am. Oh, it's over here. Okay. <laughs> this one is so good. It, like, as a chicken lover, this tastes like real this chicken. This is crazy because I know you love chicken. It does. And I would buy this, like, it's so good. Okay. Copping. Depends on what you want. So far, Sydney has recommended this plus the soy chorizo. All right, guys. So it's kind of late and I'm really hungry and I haven't had time to cook anything yet so I'm gonna have a snack these are these beet chips and I think they're pretty interesting they look like this mm. whoa it kind of tastes like those apple chips back when you were a kid where you got like dried fruit but it's more like potato-y so this is my dinner it's a really messy, oh my god. Okay, it's a wrap with tortilla, cucumber, and hummus. All right guys, so this is my dessert. Um, it doesn't look that good, but my dinner was really yummy, but I always crave for something sweet. The dessert of choice is yogurt, 0% fat, blueberries, strawberries, cinnamon, and some granola. A little bit of honey on top makes it way better. Currently, I'm actually uploading a new YouTube video, so I that up. I'm honestly really out of breath. Uh, anytime I upload a video, I always do research on the video before I even post it. So this video is t spending twenty dollars a day in Bali. So I'm gonna literally go on YouTube and search other people making that video. First day. This video doing really well, so I can literally go to their tags and use these tags in my video, so I can get the same search results when you hurt when you search Bali. So that's a little hack you use. I use a tool too, buddy, to get this information and I'll link below the in the description box if you want to try it out. So yeah guys, honestly, keyword research is not too hard. You really just need to be able to take your time and do the research if there's a high demand. If there's not, you should save your time and like make videos that people search for. <laughs> Hello? Okay, rock chair. Pick some better music. Yeah, I will. What's up? Hi. Oh, fuck. You now. We take the leadership camera. I'm stealing. I'm stealing. <laughs> You're being resourceful. It's all I'm stealing, you guys. So, you know that I typically don't go out. I. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. You blow the camera. Hey, guys. She goes, oh. <laughs> I'm never going to get used to this shit. So, you know that typically I sleep at this time, but these. Girls pulled me outside to get some food with them. Hi, this Haley is... fam. There we go. Oh my god, we should do David Dobrik. Oh yeah, what if for the next like two minutes I stop being businessy, we just make David Dobrik style content, like just like weird ass shit. Oh, you want me to do a somersault? I can. Oh my god, just like. <laughs> so these are my girls from high school. This is Marin. And say hi, Casey. Hi. We're getting some pizza. Okay, so <laughs> Marin's gone. <laughs> just kidding, just right there. We got some tea. What did you guys get? Bros. Double tea. <laughs> what did you get? Hey, so, where's your um? <laughs> where's your little tripod? Like, I know. Only official vloggers have. <gasps> we went to a. Oh my god. Queen and Jade goes, I'm allergic to shrimp. Let's order the shrimp, and she ate like ten or fifteen. That's true. Shrimp. And then I just and then you had an allergic broke out. <laughs> This is a tummy tea. Alright guys, so it's the next day, of course. I can never end a vlog properly. But I want to say that I know I sounded super, super stressed out, which I am, and I still am, but I realized how much of a great day yesterday was. I learned a few things, and I wanted to share what I learned because um, I felt like I just sounded so negative and not grateful for you guys and my problems because uh, there's my dad. <laughs> Love you. I have a problem you guys if you saw my like mini little panic attack um, It wasn't necessarily anything s specific. It was just me being really really hard on myself So basically I have a problem where I love to Hit a goal and then after that go to next level and that pressure to keep going up and up can sometimes be very Very hard. I was just so done 
yesterday of like putting that standard on myself like for example if I made X amount of money last month I need to make double the next month because you know I can't decay down another example is like I was like skinnier in November or October and I gained like 10 pounds like that's unacceptable she can't she needs to lose more weight I did such a good workout yesterday I like walked I ran I went to the gym I lifted weights and tomorrow I need to do more and double that time it's so unrealistic and it's so bad that I realize if you are setting yourself like goals, be careful because the answer is not to double it. Your identity is not your goals and what you produce. So I now kind of want to rephrase my goals into just like guidelines in life and just like things that will take me to my outcome that has no relationship to money or like just really, you know, superficial things like weight and just self image. So as you guys follow my journey as an entrepreneur, I just need to get better at stop identifying myself with my subscriber number, my weight, my income. Ugh, it's just so fucking annoying and it's hard. Like, I'm saying this because I need to get better and it's hard. So um, I think my first solution is to just accept that I'm not a superhuman and I'm not going to ever be able to double every single time. It's really hard to say. I don't know. The end goal is not to be perfect, okay? Um, so remember that. The end goal is just to be the best version of yourself. And that is not perfection. It's actually imperfection that makes you perfect. So um, John Lennon up in here. So yeah, anyways, gonna get better at self-loving myself. Um, in addition to being the most loving community on YouTube, the Dharma Nation has an exciting announcement. I just got a shipment in of my merch. I know you guys have been requesting merch for the longest time and it's finally here. So I'm selling 10. And I know I'm not selling a lot because I want to see how many of you guys actually want. A lot of times people requesting merch blows my mind. So thanks so much for your support and it's finally out. So go cop one and uh, I'll make more later and I'll make an actual real line if this line goes well. So it's up to you. Seriously, your support means everything. Thing, so go check the link below before this sells out guys. Thanks so much for watching. I love you and shout out to the comp winner Shout out to the comp winner Comment on this post to be featured in the next episode Go comment below and I'll um, I'll see you very soon. I hope you enjoyed this video and um, I love you guys so much. Thank you for everything <laughs>